Okay, uh, hi there, welcome to video one. This is going to be opening the case um, and taking everything out of it basically. Um, I suppose this is more uh, useful if you are upgrading an old computer with new parts you purchased. If you're not doing that really, it's kind of irrelevant I suppose. Um, all my future videos will show uh, specific um, as a extract and install specific parts. Um, so yeah, I guess this is just a basic overview if like you've never you know taken apart a computer before for example, because uh, it can be quite worrying that you might get it wrong. Um, but you know, it, it's it's really it's really quite simple, um, very logical, uh, and yeah, this should uh, hopefully help you through it. So um, let's get on with it. Okay, so uh, the first thing you want to be doing is, of course, taking out uh, taking off the outer case. Um, they're all different. Um, by the way, if you're wondering what this case is, um, it's a Cool Master something. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll try and stick a link below because that's not really very helpful. Uh, but it is a monster. Um, just want to say everything inside this is really spaced out, uh, really good. Uh, my old one was quite a lot, uh, quite more more compact. Everything was compressed in it a lot more, uh, and you know that was a good four or five years old. So if you are doing this with an older computer, um, you might just want to be aware of that. You probably won't have as much space um, as I do. Um, just turn that around. Right, uh, hopefully you can see the back of it. Uh, first thing to do is to take off the two side panels. Um, obviously if you're, you know, if you're not going to do something to the motherboard, you only need to take off the one side. Usually the uh, right side if you're looking from the back. Um, and this will expose sort of all the innards. Uh, only really take the left one off if you're changing the motherboard, but uh, I am going to take off both. So I just unscrew them. Uh, for God's sake, keep the screw safe because that's never good when you lose the Lose the body screws. Okay, so uh, yeah, what was I going to say? I, I'm using my fingers. Actually, these are these are quite good. Uh, they're just like little little turn screws. Uh, you probably need to use a screwdriver though. Uh, but I'm sure you'll find that. Uh, taking off the back, there's usually a little lip on the back. Just pull it back, uh, and usually they'll just slide off. There's always a locking system. Um, you probably can't see, but it's basically just a little uh, a little clip you need to unslide. Keep that away. Safe. We're going to fall over any second. Uh, I'm going to do the same with this side. So yeah, there we go. Both sides off. If um, yeah, if you have a, a fan attached to either of those two cases, uh, it's not un uncommon. Um, just unplug it. There's a little Molex clip. You can just unplug it. A uh, little four-pin clip. So uh, yeah, that's easy enough. Um, let me turn this around again. Show you the main side. Okay, so in here you see all of your components, um, power supply, motherboard, hard drives. Uh, it's all really well arranged in this case. Um, yeah, as I said, usually it's a bit more compact. Um, that's probably the side you're going to be working on most of the time. If I can turn it around. This side is, you know, not really used as much. Um, it's got a bunch of wires. Uh, basically, the only time you'll ever use this is... Oh, wait, no, hold on. Um, yeah, I guess if you're installing a motherboard, um, possibly to access some difficult part, I don't know. It, it really depends upon how your a case is set up, but um, yeah, most of the time it will be on the opposite side. Let's turn it around. All right, so main components in here. Uh, you can see power supply at the bottom, motherboard, graphics card, CPU and heatsink. Uh, I've got a bunch of hard drives here uh, and they're all connected via SATA. Uh, I've got a CD drive up here. Um, and yeah, well that, that's, that's pretty much all of it to be honest. So I'm actually, I'm just going to take everything out. Um, but I think I might change the camera angle first, maybe make it a bit more easier. Okay then, so first thing to do, uh, really, is take out the graphics cards. If you've got one, uh, you might not. You may well still be using uh, onboard graphics, which are the basically the if you're plugging into those ports on the back, you know the standard uh, the standard monitor connections. Uh, you don't need to worry about a graphics card; don't have one. Uh, but yeah, you know if you've put one in, obviously you'll know. Um, very simple to take it out. Uh, if I can take it off again, you'll notice in here. I hope you can see. Uh, there's actually a little screw right there, which basically just locks. It just locks this metal bracket into the back of the case. 
Um, and all you need to do is unscrew that and then pull out the graphics card. So, without further ado, unscrew that. Again, you probably need another screwdriver, another screwdriver, you probably need a screwdriver, I should say, to do this. There you go, keep the screw safe. Uh, yeah, what you want to do is just grab it at both ends, pretty much, and pull the end that's closest to here first. Usually it's on a hinge, and it'll just hinge out. And there you go. Easy as that. Uh, yeah, keep this safe, obviously. Uh, try not to leave any components sort of on anything. Um, you'll notice that I've got all my hard drives in, like, well, you can see it here. It's like a little pull-out drawer. Uh, you probably won't have this. You probably have them going the opposite way also. Uh, more like my CD drive. You probably have them slotting out, or out rather. Um, but yeah, basically, most of the time they'll be connected via SATA, which is these cables here. Uh, you probably know what a SATA cable is. Uh, so you just want to unplug those. Possibly might be connected by IDE, um, I think, which is the old, again, for older systems. It's the sort of big square, uh, sort of, I don't know, parallel cable. Um, okay, now I'm gonna, next thing I'm gonna take out is actually my power, my power supply. So, unplug all connections, you probably get, you know, a couple of Molex. Uh, four pins. Just go ahead and unplug everything. You've got, you know, all the cables. Oh, sorry, I just realised you can't see that on the table. But basically, all my cables are unplugged, um, except for the. If I can take the camera off again, I can't. There we go. Uh, you'll always have this monster cable here running into the main board with 24 pins on it. Uh, and you want to unplug that. There's always a clip, so, oh god, let's try and do this left handed then. There's always a clip, so you just want to, god almighty, I'm trying to angle this, there we go. Okay, just unclip it and pull it out. Okay, uh, and that's what it was. 24 pins, um, it might come in two parts like mine does, oh, I can't take it off, but yeah. So yeah, just unplug that, and there's also usually another 4-pin one, possibly an 8-pin, uh, which you can see, this cable here, running up into there, so you want to unplug that as well. There we go. Uh, and then that's your motherboard completely severed from the power. Um, let me put this back on the stand. Okay, so let me just unthread those. Okie dokie. Now... Where are the screws for the power? They're usually on the back, but you might have some underneath as well. Uh, again, you can't bloody see. So let's try and change it, there we go, okay. Power box, um, there's always four screws on the back. Uh, might be some underneath as well. Um, if I can turn it around, it would help. So, let's do that. Squash some wires. Um, yeah, usually just an old screw. Uh, very simple, just unscrew it. Okay, there's number four. Okay, so all unscrewed. Just simply sort of, whoops, wiggle it back and just lift it out. And if it's, you know, latched through any of those, just, you know, pull it through. It should be very easy to take out. So power supplies out, and that's one more down. Okay, um, I'm actually not going to go through taking out either the uh, CD drive or the hard drives because they are very simple. It's usually just four screws, one on either side, uh, either side of the um, computer. Sorry, uh, just unscrew it, and usually it slides them backwards, uh, possibly forwards, uh, but they're very easy to take out. Uh, I'm actually not going to do them because mine are weird because of the case. It's got like an easy out system. Uh, and it's the same with that, so it would really be pointless showing you. Um, because, yeah, it would be just specific to this case. Uh, next step is the motherboard. Um, so I'm going to, again, reposition the camera. And hopefully be back in a second. Okay, so um, I hope you can see that alright. You should be able to. I don't think too much is obstructed. Uh, motherboard, uh, first thing, of course, is to unplug anything that's connected to it. 
Uh, usually there's a couple of, um, for example, like the front USB ports, um, which is what I'm pl unplugging now. Um, there's always a little like sound thing, which is what causes the beeps. I'll show that in a second. Uh, so you yeah, just unplug everything. Uh, yeah, that's just a fan. Yep. Yeah, okay. So um, at the front here, you will get um, these are the these are for the power buttons, um, and they've all uh, they might be different for yours, but I can show you on mine. They've all got like individual little wires, uh, and they're all labelled, so that's fine. Um, either make a note of if you're replacing this motherboard. Um, I don't know why you would be. Uh, taking it out to put it back in, but whatever. Uh, make a note of where they went or consult your instruction manual. Uh, that's that little speaker I was talking about. That's what makes the beep noise when uh, Windows gives an error. Uh, okay, so that's everything unplugged. I'm just going to push these underneath so they're out of the way. You do need to be very careful with the motherboard, I have to say. Uh, yeah, there we go. Right, okay. Um, First thing first, I'm going to actually take off the CPU. Um, all of them is different, but there's always a wire to power the fan, so just unplug that, keep it safe. And for the uh, board itself, there's a little switch, like lever thing, um, right there. You can probably, hopefully, you can see that. Might just try and. I don't know if that even helped. But there we go, I hope that's a bit closer, maybe. Um, so yeah, basically just pull the lever across. There we go. And hopefully that will undo the clips which are holding the CPU in place. Just try and unclip it from the motherboard. There's usually two clips, one at the top, ah, there we go, one at the bottom. So you can see that's now loose. And it should, he says, should just lift off. Now there we go. Okay, that was a bit more forceful than I thought it would be. Ah, right. Now actually, this is, I don't know, wow, that's not good. This has actually taken the um, CPU with it, whoops, I'm sorry, you can't see, which is what this square is here, um, which it should not have done. Uh, that should have remained on the board, it just means it wasn't fastened down properly last time. Or that something's happened to the thermal paste and it's like now it's solidly stuck to it, but we will find out. Uh, that should have just removed your CPU heatsink. Uh, what you'll then find, usually, is the CPU on this square board with a little lever next to it, which you want to unplug and push across. Uh, and that releases your CPU, so you can just pick it up and take it out. However, um, yeah, just do it that way. Um, I'm not sure why, that's actually quite worrying. I'm not sure why it's done that, but yeah. Uh, so that's the CPU off, keep that safe, um, watch the pins on that. Um, last thing is, I guess, the RAM. Uh, probably the easiest thing to take out. Just a couple of clips on the sides. And then you just lift them straight out. Easy as that. You have just taken out everything off of your motherboard. Uh, and now it's just the motherboard itself, of course. So you'll notice some screws all around it. Could be, I don't know, I th I'm not sure what the standard is. I think this has got eight from the looks of it. And there we go, that's eight out. I'm just going to keep them separate because they're slightly smaller. And I want to remember that they're for the motherboard. So there we go, um, motherboard should now just lift out. Um, there's always, remember, there's the um, there's the silver plate on the back which has got all the connections on it. So it might need a bit of angling but basically just lift it off and then out. So there we go, there's the motherboard out. It zoomed in too much now, you can't really see, but yeah, not that interesting. Uh, and the last thing is the metal case, which just sort of, just, well, it just pushes out basically. Uh, and that's just the you know, sort of cover protected for all the buttons. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it, that's, uh, that's your motherboard out. Um, not too hard, really. Um, What's that? A couple of minutes? 15 minutes maybe? Uh, so yeah, I hope you uh, tune into the next video uh, where I'll be putting stuff back in. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching.